Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland This is relaxation, hypnosis for stress, anxiety and panic attacks Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes There will be two versions of this recording be one with and without music. So this is going to be a relaxation session, but it's also, you know, also possibly a sleep session as well. So I'm just going to put it, the title is a relaxation slash sleep recording. So if you're using it to fall asleep, then cool. Um, get yourself maybe into bed, comfortable, relaxed. If you're going to be listening to it purely for the relaxation and you have plans to do something else, then I suggest you set an alarm to uh, just in case you fall asleep. Now, I'm going to talk to you from a scientific perspective today, which might seem a bit weird. It'll be from a a neuroscience perspective. And I quite like the idea of that because I know some people with hypnosis, they might think, well, it's, what is it really? Is it just made up? Is it real? And, you know, but actually neuroscience is real. And the discoveries, continuously discovering new ways um, to map the brain, figure out what's going on. And the consensus really is that our brain creates our thoughts and our behavior. So basically what's in our mind comes from our brain. And instead of it being something separate. So, from a perspective of relaxing versus being tense, or being stressed, or feeling anxious, you can only feel one at a time. You can only feel, you can't feel anxious and relaxed at the same time. Uh, you can't feel stressed and deeply relaxed. We can have mixed states, you know, uh, during maybe neurosis and stuff, but generally, when you feel deeply relaxed, you can't feel tense. Same way as when you're feeling really tense, you can't experience feeling relaxed in that moment. Of course, you can go in between, you can change from one to the other. So what we do, what this is, is instead of just leaving it to a whim, allowing your brain to just do whatever it wants and to be... I guess reactive to what's going out on outside, you know, in your life. So, you know, our behavior affects our brain, our brain affects our behavior. Just like when your mind is relaxed, your body's relaxed, your, you know, body relaxed causes your mind to relax more. It's that roll on effect, that continue, continuous connection that we have. So 
So basically, we've got these neurons. Specifically, if you had a wire connected, you know, a technical a neuroscientific experiment. I don't know what they do, but they can they can detect, detect stuff by putting a wire into the brain. Of course, we're not going to do that but they can detect parts of the brain lighting up. When, for example, we're hungry, when we're eating just for pleasure rather than because we're hungry, a different part of the brain lights up, a different new neuro connection, neurons, different neurons uh, light up, which can be a possible solution for an eating issue. But as we're not focusing on that, we're focusing on sleep and relaxation. So you've got, you know, you could say, well, how do I get in touch with the, the neurons that light up when you feel relaxed? And I could say, well, you need to feel relaxed first and you'll be able to get that, those neurons lit up. And then you may say, yeah, but that defeats the object then, doesn't it? Because I'm already relaxed. And that could be a good answer. But you don't have to get fully relaxed to get in touch with that part you don't have to get, also it's, it's about getting in touch with the part which causes tension and stress, anxiety. And that's also a part that lights up, which causes a physiological effect, tightening up of muscles, tension, all, all those different side effects connected and it's going to be different for everybody or that part which is being wide awake you know that that those neurons that light up there when maybe in the past you've been sitting in bed lying in bed wide awake thinking why why am I not falling asleep So if we start to get in touch with those different parts of our brain, we can do that. We can start controlling it and focusing on a particular part to light up, which would then trigger the feelings physically and emotionally. And how we can do that is by actually focusing on those parts, getting in touch by getting in touch with the feelings we have. So I'd like you, first of all, to get in touch with tension. Get in touch with attention. And I realise that uh, you may be feeling more relaxed already, because we've been, you know, I've been talking for a few minutes. So you may already feel more relaxed, but just get in touch with any kind of tension that you've got, any kind of stress. And just notice in your mind, you can just see it lit up. It's almost like a, like a long light bulb, you know, one of those big fluorescent tubes. It doesn't have to be fluorescent, but it can be a colour whatever colour you give it really, whatever colour it naturally is. But it's going to be different from the colour of the one that's for relaxation. And it's also pointing in a different direction. It's a different pathway, literally. So it's almost, you've got this crossroads and the signs one points towards stress, one points towards feeling deeply relaxed. So one pathway lights up when you walk down that pathway. But when you don't walk down it, when you or travel down it or focus on it, 
when you focus on the relaxation pathway, the stress pathway just goes out. That light just goes out because it's not stimulated. It's almost like the, well, it literally is disconnected as it would be with a, with an actual light bulb. It's, it's like you've taken it out. It's been unscrewed. Or the switch has been covered over so you can't turn the switch on. So you can focus on the stress and notice how you feel, but also notice that light. I guess in some ways, the brighter the light is, the stronger maybe the the feeling the stress is maybe. And maybe it's wider and longer, the light. And the light may pres- represent Maybe red, it may, may, could, could be anything, whatever it is inside your mind. And that part of your brain, those neurons actually are activating, they are lighting up. It's just, it's inside your head, so we can't actually see it. So we have to use our imagination to see it. Now I'd like you to focus on level of comfort level of feeling relaxed uh, if you if you're not relaxed yet focus maybe on a time when you were you know you were relaxed when you felt calm loose perhaps uh, could have been last time you listened to me or could have been 10 minutes ago or maybe it's now but as you get in touch with that feeling of comfort and relaxation, it means that you're traveling down that pathway that's uh, going in a different direction, completely different path to the other one. And that lights up. And maybe that one's got a different color. And you can notice how that feels. And the more you focus on that light, that pathway in your mind, the more relaxed you physically and emotionally feel. It's just kind of a full circle by focusing on how you physically feel allows you to get in touch with that pathway in your mind, in your brain, physically in your brain, and those neurons lighting up, focusing on that pathway, then increases that sense of comfort and deep relaxation, maybe at a level that may surprise you just how relaxed you're able to get fairly quickly because this is a physical thing that's actually happening. It's a neurological result to that focus. So it's not really imagination. It's actually happening because you can feel it. You can feel the letting go and the comfort of the muscles in your body as they just relax deeply. You can, and I'm noticing it myself, notice that my mind is just pretty much silent. And very peaceful as you focus just on that pathway. Everything else that needs to happen in your brain is just happening automatically. But as long as you're focusing on that 
relaxation pathway, that neural pathway of relaxation, and it's lit up. But the other pathway can't light up at the same time. So it's a choice. Which means all you need to focus on is that feeling. When you focus on the feeling of relaxation, then in your mind you can see that light, that lighted up neural pathway that's physically in your brain, physically, literally in your brain. This is real. Which then increases your sense of relaxation throughout your body and your mind. Also send in positive healing energy through your body as well. Because relaxation always comes with healing. Relaxation is always mixed with deep healing. And something else is automatically mixed in with that relaxation. And only if it's required or if you want to do so is sense of just drifting off to sleep. It's already mixed in. It's available for those of you that want to just allow yourself to drift away. Because there's no activity in your mind. There's only a sense of comfort in your body. And there's nothing to let go of. It's already done. It's so easy, so simple, and any time you want to feel completely relaxed in your body and in your mind, you just focus on that light inside your brain, that pathway. And if for any reason you forget where it is, you've got the crossroads with the signs, and there's a sign pointing towards that pathway, which says relaxation. It says relaxation with an arrow pointing, and you just Focus on that pathway and it lights up automatically. Send in those chemicals from your brain. Down to your brain stem, into your spinal cord and spread in those feelings of deep relaxation to every part of your body moving a million miles an hour.
as you realize that this is really easy. This is really easy. And as you continue to focus on that light, I'm going to count down from five down to one. And if you want to, you can just continue to focus on that light, that littered pathway. of those neurons which continue to send deep healing relaxation through your body and calming your mind. And if you feel you want to fall asleep, then you can do that as well. It's totally up to you because the longer you focus on that light, the more relaxed you'll feel. more relaxed. And you just drift. Drift. Five. One. 